Speaking of Tucker Carlson, guess who Tucker had on his show? Who? Sam, oh. this is a special documentary. This I was is the about documentary. to say, this is not the show. This oh, was he, He's been working on this for quite a while. They had the inside, uh, behind-the-scenes look at Kyle Rittenhouse. Oh, that's nice. The inside, uh, the uh, 18-year-old who had achieved, you know, what a lot of 18-year-olds do not achieve by the time they're 18. Very few 18-year-olds have the opportunity to say, I killed two people yeah. uh, in protecting a Piggly Wiggly. And um, and and then became a celebrity because of it. Here's the the documentary. Oh, Kyle Rittenhouse! It Tucker, is so nice to meet it's you. Really good to meet you. I can't believe you're Big here. Big of your show. Well, the, <laughs> well, we're fans of yours, as you know. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Oh, we know. For most Americans, Kyle Rittenhouse is more meme than man. But in real life, Rittenhouse is a working class kid from the least privileged sector of our society. I worked at Six Flags as a, as a custodian. I was a fry cook. I fried cheese curds, fish. Rittenhouse was a lifeguard and a firehouse cadet. He did this to support his family and to help his community. But under the rules of anarcho tyranny, you're not allowed to protect your community. Protecting his community is just what Kyle Rittenhouse felt compelled to do. So tell me, Kyle. Oh, for one second, under the rules apparently of anarcho tyranny, mm. um, and just to be clear, uh, this wasn't his job to protect his community, and it uh, was not his community. Well, you know, you could argue that, like, he, he it was probably the nearest, you know, town to where he lives. Uh, it, you know, it, uh, ten minutes, twenty minutes away. I don't know, but it wasn't his job. It wasn't his job. And also, we should say, like, it's not quite clear that there was any threat to the community. I don't know what that was, but, like, it's not his job. There are people whose job it is, but apparently under anarcho-tyranny, you can't also be an amateur uh, policeman. Or really, not policeman, just sort of like an amateur uh, self-appointed guard of property. Uh, t Tim Pool would be kind of into that, right? Like, uh, he's a militia. Yeah, he could break, break out his uh, his uh, sword. But let's watch this. I love this, like... Um, That's pretty uh, much it. And I, why, why did Tucker, like, laugh so maniacally? Because he does that all the time. That is so awkward and weird. Yeah. Um, my favorite part, too, and it just fits into something Tucker's been doing for a while, um, when he calls him a member of the, quote, least privileged sector of our society, um, this is a way to undercut and stave off the, like talk of white privilege right this is a way for him to basically say no black people non-white people poc um women they or maybe not women to an extent but definitely the groups before they have a like a privileged status because the liberal elites want to uh erase white people or erase culture or elevate these kinds of people so actually the least privileged are if you're from this uh class group which by the way i support all the policies that would not uplift you from a class basis um and also you being white and so that's something that he is like one of the many side projects in his commentary that's one that i think we need to pay attention to there actually is one more short clip. let's watch one more uh, short clip from this incidentally um Sweet, what is it, like a five, six hundred dollar gun? He must have earned that by being a um a, a, a fireman cadet. Before last summer, Kyle Rittenhouse wanted to move to the paradise of Florida, to the free state. Now he has his chance. Even so, he will never have the luxury of living a normal life. He'll never be able to erase the slander and stigma laid on him by the media and by his prosecution. Those are the consequences of the trial of Kyle. The next time, it could be you. The next time you kill two people and wound a third, you could be held somewhat accountable and adjudicated by the law. Be careful. The next time you decide... Well, the funny part is, what did he say? The anarcho... What is it? The Ar anarcho tyranny. tyranny. Um, picking up a, a gun and deciding that you're going to be in charge of making sure that nobody breaks into the Piggly Wiggly sounds a little anarcho to me, frankly. 
Um, and having a gun when you're meeting protesters who have like a skateboard or something, that also seems a little tyrannical to me. And the idea that he's been slandered by the judicial system because he was prosecuted for killing two people. He killed them. Killed them dead. Dead. I like how it's the media reaction to him taking two lives that's going to F him up for the rest of his life and not having killed two people. Right. Yeah. You can get past the shooting the two people because they were armed with a skateboard and they were coming after you for, go for, for being there with a gun in a menacing fashion that you can get past but the the indignity of g going to trial and having to cry when you're on the on the witness stand that is horrible is there any like doubt now that 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 kid was faking it like i mean the I, like I, I, i'm sure he I, listen i'm, I'm sure, sure he was stressed but like that's the point though right like the the fact that he's being lionized and being uh, made into this martyr by conservative media i understand his brain's still forming there could possibly be some way for like a kid like that to maybe have some regret and some redemption but every incentive and every person around him seems to be saying no you actually did the right thing like emma don't you he needs think to be in therapy he needs to be in therapy don't you think he would have rather have been shot than having done those shootings. Mm. That he goes out and the, those, the um, the when he's when he's when he's out there, you know, uh, being f f feted by uh, the conservative media. That it's the the smiles of a it's like the tears of a clown type of situation. Mm -hmm. He would he he wishes he was on the other side of that. That somebody had shot him as he was trying to protect the piggly wiggly or whatever it was down there. Um. But instead, he has to deal with the with that trial, which lasted almost what, like three weeks? My God, three like weeks. A, of what kind of country is it where you cannot shoot two people dead and injure a third, and you have to spend what two or three weeks in a trial? He he had to buy a suit. He had to buy a suit and wear a tie. My God. And now, like he's going, he's having to go around to all these. Uh, I mean, it's it's hard. You got to feel bad for the Covington Catholic kids because is there anyone going to remember them now that Kyle's That's right. the new murder? That's right. That's right. <laughs> They've lost the, the, ha, countless Fox News opportunities now that Rittenhouse is here. Get aware of soon.